Hey everyone, I am so excited to do this tag. I knew I wanted to do it as soon as I saw the first version of it. It was created by Amelia Liana and Essie Button, who I had the pleasure of meeting last month in Dallas, and they are as sweet in person as they seem to be on camera. That was definitely the high point of visiting Dallas, along with meeting Fleur de Force and rooming with Lisa Essie 09. Okay, enough name dropping. One more name to drop. I was actually tagged by the lovely Miss Allie V here on YouTube, and I will link you to her channel down there. If you don't already watch her, you should. For those of you who miss um, Lollipop26, by now blog later, she is the 2014 version of her, so please go check her out. Okay, I have a lot to say. I can't follow the rules. I did pick more than one thing for pretty much every option, so let's get started. I have the questions written down over here, so that's why I keep looking. When I watched Allie's video, I actually was taking notes, as she was um, going through her choices, and I was like, oh, please tag me, tag me. So I'm so excited when she got to the end and mentioned me. Okay, favorite balm. I have two. One is what I use at night and keep in my nightstand drawer, and this should come as no surprise. It's the Smith's Strawberry Lip Balm. Um, you can get it at Sephora. Looks like that. I don't know if it's the smell. It's the smell, and it also works, which is great. This is my third tube, so I just got this one, or tub and it really hydrates your lips. It smells divine. I love it. It's just a little lovely little nighttime routine that I do every evening. And then in my purse, I've had this, kept this in my bag since I've since I found it um, on YouTube and that's the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. I like the scent, the scent. I guess it's a scent. It doesn't really taste like anything. Lemon and chamomile. And if you can see there it has an SPF of 25, which uh, is fabulous because people forget that your lips can get burnt as well and I like that it's not in a tube that it's in a squeezy bottle because most of the year it is very hot where I live and balms that are in a tube tend to melt in my purse. Next question. Best eye catching red. So I'm new to the whole red thing. I've been playing with it off and on and it's fairly new to my collection but I immediately fell in love with it and it is the Milani lipstick in 04 High Voltage. Um, it's a very wearable red. It's so pretty. It is a little more, I'd say, I think it's perfectly neutral. I, I will swatch it here. It's, it's um, not too blue, it's not too orange. It's just right. It's like Goldilocks and her porridge. I really, I really love the formulation. It has that Jolly Rancher smell. It wears a long time, as reds do. It's not completely matte, it's not glossy, it's just the perfect satin finish and I adore it. Next question, best luxury. I have to admit that while I have branched out into luxury brands across all makeup categories, I haven't really bought or even acquired in any way any high, a lot of different brands. I have a handful, like two Dior lipsticks, I have a Chanel lip gloss, that's kind of it as far as the bigger name stuff goes. But the one collection I fell in love with immediately and have bought pretty much every version of it is the uh, YSL. And I love the packaging. Uh, this one is their Rouge Pure Couture in... Well, I don't love the packaging in that the number has worn off. I will look it up. I've mentioned this a lot in my favorites. Um, I just... I, there's something about this brand that makes me feel incredibly special and elegant when I pull it out. A current favorite that will be mentioned in my favorites is the Rouge Volupte in 29, which I believe is Opera Rose, and I wear it all the time. It's a very wearable, brighter pink. I, I mean, just the, the lacquer here, the enamel that is the same color as what's in the tube. It's just so pretty when it comes out. I love this so much. I actually got one for my mom for Mother's Day. I just, I think there's something really elegant and if you're gonna splurge on something beautiful, it should be a lipstick, I think. Something that you can take around with you and other people can see and it makes you feel pretty and special. Best drugstore. Um, this was tough. There are two. The first one I alluded to earlier is the Milani. Lip, I don't know what the official name is of these things, but they're the Milani lipsticks. I have a lot more than this, but um, obviously I also have the red one. These were first introduced to me by Emily Noel 83, Emily Eddington here on YouTube, and they smell great. I've mentioned they smell like Jolly Ranchers. Who doesn't love that? 
The bright, I don't love the shimmery or metallic ones, but they're cream ones. This is Fruit Punch. You can tell that I definitely like a particular color range. They um, stick to your lips. This one is Rose Hip. They stick to your lips. They really don't budge. They don't bleed. They don't travel. That one I wear a lot. This is Pink Love. No, Rose Hip. I lied. Pink Love is somewhere else. I have two versions of Pink Love. I love it so much I bought it twice. This is a really nice neutral, more for fall I'd say, but this one is pretty natural down here. They, they just wear well. They smell good. They have so many color options. They have the reds and the neutrals and the pinks and the berries and the plums and the oranges. There's something for everybody. There's so many great shades. As you can see, I really do like my pinks, but I love those. And then a close second that I've recently discovered and just don't own as many of them, but I really do like them, are the CoverGirl lipsticks. I will find the full name of these. This one is Bombshell. I think this might have been limited edition. There's another one named Yummy that I reach for a lot. And it's right there. And I just, they're very creamy. They glide onto the lips. Lots of color options, and you can't really beat the price point. So I really, I have a thing for drugstore lipstick. I definitely have a lot, a lot. Best MAC. This should come as no surprise. I like a neutral color, but I've really moved away from the nudes, although I'm wearing a pretty nude shade right now. My all-time favorite, this was introduced to me again from YouTube by Sharon Farrell. She's a makeup artist, very, very talented. Again, if you don't watch her, you're really missing out. Almost every time you ask me what I'm wearing on my face, it's a tutorial that I copied from her. She's just wonderful. She's Irish and has not fairly recently moved to Australia and just very, very talented and does very, for the most part, very wearable makeup tutorials. She does a few more editorial looks, but anyway. So my favorite MAC lipstick was introduced to me by her when she was doing a bridal tutorial and it's MAC Syrup. It is a luster finish. I'm gonna have to switch hands. And it's just, it, it's shiny enough that you don't need gloss and it's very neutral, but it is some color to the lips. I feel like for most people in most situations, whether you're in an office situation or you're just out and about and you don't want too much color on your lips, but you want to look done up, this is the go-to MAC color. I love it. Okay, most disappointing. Well, the one I want to mention, I actually think even included it in a favorites, and then as I wore it more and more, I realized I really couldn't stand it and hated it so much I, I actually threw it out. I don't even have it. Um, it's the Stila lip glosses. I love the pigmentation and I love the smell and I love the taste of them. But every time I used them and wore them, and I, it's even happened to me in the video, I would get the stringy, it looked like my lips were sewn together and just gloppy, gooey, it's a mess. They're a mess and they, they travel they don't stay on your lips. I looked like a little kid with just stuff smeared all over my face. Stila, why? But then the other thing that's most disappointing to me is the discontinuation of this. This is the Estee Lauder Signature Lipstick in 66 Rose Amethyst. So when I first learned about Rose Amethyst, which I don't even want to swatch for you because I just have this little stub left, but can you see it's that pink that I love but it has a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of glints of gold, actually. It wears like a satin, but it, it ha almost has like a built-in lip gloss effect to it. It's a very flattering neutral pink. I'd say it's very similar to the um, YSL that I swatched for you right here, but a little bit better. So when I first learned about it, it was already discontinued, but easily available in the cosmetic outlet stores. Now it's impossible to find, and it's just one of those things, I'll, I'll live, I don't need you to send, you know, I'm not gonna go on this crazy hunt asking people to send it, their tubes to me. I'm sure I'll find something else, but I really did love this, and I, just, and I know a lot of other people did, and I just don't understand why cosmetic companies discontinue shades that everybody likes. Just, I mean, don't they, do they not wanna make money? I just, I don't understand the thinking behind it at all. So that's probably the most disappointing thing of all, is the discontinuation of not just this shade, but every shade that we've ever loved. Why? Why, why? Okay, liner, yes or no? The answer would be sometimes. Um, specifically in two instances. One, if I'm wearing a very nude lipstick, which I don't do as much as I used to, I feel like it needs a little extra boost or I look like a corpse. So lining, not just the outside of my lips, but my 
whole lip and then slapping the nude on top is one time I wear it and another time is when I'm wearing red lipstick and the liner that I reach for more than any other and uh, what I own more than any other are the NYX liners you can get them in the pencil form um, in about every color under the sun and then they also have the automatic lip liners you know that you just roll up I love them both but if I really want a precise line I do prefer the actual pencils because I can sharpen them to just the perfect point. So, but most of the time, I'd say 85% of the time, no liner. Okay, best gloss. This is like asking me to tell you which of my kids I like better, which for the record, if either of you are watching, I love you both the same, but there are days when I like one of you better than the other. Um, I can't pick, but I will say in general, drugstore glosses rock. Um, I did splurge and get a YSL gloss once it's sticky, not as pigmented as I would like, but the lipstick options are insane. And I'm just gonna kind of real quickly run through some of my favorite brands. So the lip gloss craze started with NYX, and I don't know why I grabbed this particular color because I don't like this one, but the NYX, I think they're the Mega Shine lip glosses with the little bow on top, all the NYX glosses especially, I love how they smell. Oh my gosh, I love how they smell. All of them are ridiculously pigmented, even this nude one. Can you see, like it's opaque, that's crazy. They're not sticky on the lips. I like a pigmented lip gloss. I don't like a sheer gloss. I don't see what the point of that is. That's just me. And um, so, love NYX and really cheap, really ridiculously cheap. The other one that I love but I don't own as much because I can only buy them when I go overseas or I can order them online but that's just not fun is the Bourjois 3D Effect. This is my all-time favorite nude. It's the Brune Poetic, and um, oh, I don't love the wand. It's, it's a little teeny brush, but the gloss itself is so wonderful that I will overlook it. Um, I guess I grabbed two nudes, and that's, that's the um, Bourjois one. I don't think they really smell. Yeah, they do smell, they're sweet as well. Another really great budget-friendly one that just happens to also be awesome, so it ticks all those boxes, is the Essence Triple XL Shine. And this one, I don't know what the color is. It is Nude Candy. I think it was in my nude lip gloss drawer when I was looking for lip glosses. And um, again, very opaque, not sticky, lots of color options. Most of the time my favorite color options are limited edition. Here's Nude Candy. Nice milky pink. And uh, so that's a bummer, but their permanent line is fabulous as well. Then the Maybelline lip glosses. I really like these new ones. Not the little, I like the little ones now, but hands down, these are better. There's way more product. They're the Color Sensational High Shine lip glosses. This one's limited edition, so I'm not even going to tell you. This one is. Um, I can't read it. That's the only thing I don't like is it's very thin, tiny white writing. Who can read that? Nobody. Nobody can. But I like the formulation. They Again, I, I don't like sticky glosses with this kind of hair. Who does? Um, I love the pigmentation and I really, really like the price. And then the last favorite one, it's new to me, but I really do like it, is the Milani Brilliant Shine lip gloss with um, dog hair on the end. That's nice. This is Pink Lady. And again, pigmented, reasonable price, lots of color options, and um, easy to get at the drugstore. So there's that. I don't know if this one smells. Oh yeah, this one smells sweet too. I love, I don't know what it is with lip glosses, why they make them all smell. Do the Maybelline ones smell? No, they smell just kind of like, like nothing really. Not much to it. So those are all, these are my favorite drugstore glosses. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I love them all. I don't love the Revlon ones, the new ones, as much. So I'm not. I mention them, but I don't love them like these. Okay, something extra. I'm really excited about this. I read about this in some blog post or something about great products for summer. This, and I was at Sephora and picked this up, and now I want to go back and get a bunch of the other colors. It's the Sephora Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color. I'm wearing this right now. It is in the shade Nude Pink Luster. And these are very similar to the YSL Glossy Lip Stains. They're not quite as glossy, but they're much 
more pigmented and easy to wear and a heck of a lot cheaper. The YSL ones go on kind of sheer and you have to build up the color. Like these are what I'm talking about. This is more of like a liquid lipstick and um, formulation is in a little doe foot like that. And I swatched pretty much every single color in the store yesterday. I will tell you this. The color range is a little disappointing. What it looks like in the tube and the picture in the display in almost every case is nothing like what it looks like on skin or lips. So do swatch these in the store or search Google Images if you're going to buy them online. Some of the pinks that I thought were going to turn out more like pinks like this were just neon, not just bright, but glow in the dark neon colors. I don't understand that. So my only regret Sephora is get some more wearable colors. There's a red that looks fantastic. Um, I think these are great for summer because they, you can put them in your purse. They're not going to melt. They're long wearing. They don't dry out your lips. I do like topping it with a little bit of gloss because that's just how I do things. But if you can go check these out, make sure you get the luster matte ones. There's another one that's just a flat out stain. No, luster matte. Sorry, now I have fuzzies. That's the hazard of wearing a lip gloss. Anyway, I am going to list everyone that I would like to see do this video in the description box below. If I don't specifically name you, if you've got a camera, then you're tagged. But I am going to name a few specific people that I'm just curious to see what they would mention. And um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. I, I mean, honestly, I say it at the end of every video, but really, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.